Hello, my name is Mrs Williams and I'm going to be teaching year two It's an Ava's class next year and I'm very excited about meeting everybody. Next term we are going to be learning some very exciting things. We are going to be looking at some messy art, we're going to be looking at some messy science and that is my clue as to what you're going to be learning. Lots of messy things and I've chosen a story today to read to you. I wanted to find Mr. Messy, because I love Mr. Men books, but I couldn't find Mr. Messy in my house. So I've managed to find my book, All About Me, by Mr. Silly. And in this book, Mr. Silly can be very messy. So I want you to spot Mr. Silly being messy. And maybe in the holidays, you could draw me a picture of Mr. Messy if you can find him. My book about me, by Mr. Silly. Mr. Silly wanted to make a book. Now what can I write about, he said to himself. He took a sip from his mug of hot toast. I know, I can write about me, he suddenly declared. So Mr Silly got a pad of paper and he began. He dipped a carrot into a pot of ink and he began to write. Messily. It's not easy to write with a carrot, but Mr Silly did not use a pen. Very messy. That would be far too sensible. He wrote down the title, My Book About Me. And then he wrote about the time he went to the Nonsense Land bookshop and bought a book. One page at a time. It took a very long time to buy it. But then, Mr Silly changed his mind. Just writing about himself might be a bit boring. I would disagree, but Mr Silly had made up his mind. Or was that down? You can never tell with Mr Silly. He decided he would include his friends in his book. If his friends were in the book, then they would want to read it. First of all, he wrote about Mr Wrong. Mr Wrong reads his books upside down. That is silly. Whereas Mr Topsy Turvy reads his books back to front. So he would begin with the ending at the end and end with the beginning. Start with the beginning. He started with the end and ended with the beginning. How Topsy Turvy. Mr Silly wrote about Mr Greedy and his many cookery books. And Little Miss Magic and her amazing book of spells. Then there was a chapter on Mr Busy. A very short chapter. Mr Busy is too busy to ever finish a book. Finally, Mr Silly wrote about Mr Happy. Well, it's always nice to finish with a happy ending. Mr Silly was very pleased with his story. He decided to invite around all his friends who were going to be in his book for the big reveal. But first, he had to make it. He went out to his shed and took down a saw and a hammer and a box of nails, which was a bit odd. It took him all night to make the book. Mr Silly's book was big, as big as a house, with... A door. Mr Silly opened the door and invited everyone in. Welcome to my book, he said. I have something to announce, he continued. You will be very pleased to hear that you will all be famous. Because you are now all in my book. In my book. How very silly. So I wonder if anyone could write me a little story over the holidays and bring it into school. Or if anybody could draw me a picture of Mr Messy over the summer holidays. I hope you have a lovely summer and I look forward to meeting you all in September.